Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, some of you that checked your community tabs saw a few weeks ago, I showed you that my students were working on a Rubik's Cube solver. And we weren't quite at the point where, you know, the students can get it to work. A lot of trial and error, a lot of rebuilding to make sure everything was perfect. And they finally did it. If you want to see it, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay guys, so this would be the perfect inspirational video for don't quit, don't give up. You can do this, you know, you got this. If you just, you know, rethink some things, go back and maybe rebuild something. So this was that perfect scenario where these students almost gave, it, gave up. So props to Michael and Gio for not giving up. It was just one of those things where they're like, we got this, we just you know, have to figure it out. So it's the Rubik's Cube Solver. I'll send you the link to the programming and the instructions. A lot of things can go wrong with this, so it's just one of those things where you do have to stick with it. But let's take a look at it. Okay guys, so here it is. Here is the Rubik's Cube Solver. Again, Michael and Gio, awesome job on the build here. Again, the building instructions will be down in the description. But basically, this arm would be the arm to rotate the cube, you know, to, to flip it. Um, this right here would be the base to rotate the cube. The color sensor here would be to scan the colors in. It's going to basically scan each side before it begins to solve it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and watch the magic of this thing working. Gotta get it to work once on camera, you know? Okay, guys, so again, props to Michael and Gio. They just did not quit or give up on this. I'm super proud of them. And hopefully you will enjoy this if you, you know, get a chance to build it and program it. It's going to be one of those things where you just got to stay with it. Try not to give up. You know, just keep plugging away at it. And hopefully it will work for you. So it's just one of those cool, rewarding days where you just can feel the, the tension, the frustration, and it's just one of those, yes, they finally got it. So those of you that, you know, teach robotics, those of you that are in robotics class, just know what I'm talking about, where you're just super frustrated, and it finally, you get it, you know, you get it to work. First Lego League, you guys know what I'm talking about. So it's just one of those rewarding, cool days. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missional Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out.